guys, so it is Vlogmas day. I don't remember, so welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> red lip kind of day. I just decided to throw one on and I'm just sitting here with the baby. Say hi Blinky. Say hi. She's like what the heck. My girlfriend is coming to visit today. She's coming at noon because I haven't seen her probably in three months um, just because you know it's busy with the baby and she has a really busy work schedule. I painted my nails last night. It's called Celebrity and it's by it's Chanel. And it's, uh, yeah, it's called Celebrity 580. And I'm telling you, that nail polish is so amazing. Like, it goes on with, like, one coat. It's super thick. It's really nice. So I highly recommend it. Um, I got it through Colin's work. So that's how I got that. Um, so we're just playing right now. Colin is finishing up the outside. <clears throat> and um, we're kind of going back and forth talking about um, going on a trip. So we have the opportunity to go to Hawaii again in March. And I have been three times. I love Hawaii. She was conceived in Hawaii on our honeymoon. And um, it just has a special place in our hearts. We just love it. It's the most beautiful place ever. And I don't ever want to go anywhere else. Like Mexico was fun, but it just doesn't compare to Hawaii. So it would be in March, so we would be going when she is eight months old. And I'm kind of going back and forth. I have a girlfriend that left her first born son at eight months on a trip, and now she's going again when her second son's about eight months. And she said, yes, do it, you need it, you need that break. As a mom, you're always doing things for other people, and you'll be such a better mom when you come back. She goes, yes, I cried. She said she cried the whole way on the, to the airport, and she said she missed her son like crazy, but she really enjoyed that time with her husband. And obviously before we have more kids, it, it's a good time to go. Um, but then the other side of me is like, just the thought of leaving her makes me want to cry. So I don't know if I can do it. So let me know if any of you guys have done it, um, what your feelings are. The other issue I'm having right now is I can't pump very much, although I only really pump for like 15, 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and I get like two ounces, if that. Um, and I could pump more, like I need to pump a couple times in the day and I do need to drink more water, but I'm just finding it difficult to, like I can't pump as much. But she was saying that if you just start pumping more, so like first thing in the morning when your boobs are full pump before you feed her so I could give her her cereal while I pump and then I could get more and then feed her on both sides and then pump a couple times a day on both sides and she said after doing that for like a month she's up to like getting 10 ounces a day which is crazy and awesome or 10 ounces in the morning I mean so um you know I want I would have to try that because I have to pump a lot because I plan on breastfeeding her up until at least a year so I don't want to stop that so I don't know I just I have till the end of today to decide so by the time you guys see this we would have already made our decision I don't know it's hard my mom's like I know you you're not gonna be able to leave her and you're gonna you won't have fun and you'll just be upset the whole time and she's kind of right because like the thought of leaving her I could cry but at the same time, I think it would be really nice for Colin and I and um, just to have that break. Not that I need a break from her, but like I'd be such a better mom and like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, even though I probably would have already made my decision. But um, yeah, so we're just kind of deciding on that. So yeah, we got our new rug. You guys can see it from Wayfair. It's beautiful and I'm super happy. And the other one's in the dining room. Although the other one, now that it's in the more of a gray room, it doesn't look very nice, so we have to get a new one. But I'll leave that one for now because I can't afford a new one right now. But um, yeah, I'm so happy. The house finally is like looking nice and more put together, so that's awesome. But yeah, I'm just going to play with the baby, and then I am going to talk to you guys later. So baby girl is having a nap currently, and I decided to do some more baking. So I made hot cocoa brownies. If they're good, I can put um, the recipe down below. It's actually really easy. It was just um, a chocolate cake mix, except I substituted butter instead of for the oil, and I used milk instead of water. Um, 
I threw in some vanilla and three cups of marshmallows and I also put in about a cup of chocolate chips. So that's that. And then I also have some cookies in the oven. So that's what that's what I'm doing. I do have to start pumping more. I still haven't decided about Hawaii or not. I'm probably not gonna do it just because I don't think that I am capable of leaving her. But um, we'll see. Anyways, and I do have to edit a video. I'm just waiting for the cookies to finish baking. And yeah, I'm gonna edit a video for you guys. I did wanna show you, this is the chair that I got for Blake. I got it off of Amazon. So it basically, no, no. I'm trying to tell him not to go in the dining room. Um, it basically um, sits her up and this part, foot part here squeaks and it's got some chewy toys and you can put like food here and whatever. So it's really cute. It was $49.99 on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. So that's the most recent purchase and that one I'll put down the basement because um, she can't really use that until she's a bit older now. So um, yeah. So yeah, that's the, the new little addition. <laughs> Big girl. Who's the big girl in her chair? Yeah, she was just chewing on this. Get that. Oh. You're the cutest little thing I've ever seen. So cute. So I forgot to end the vlog yesterday and it would have been too short. So I decided to do a little get ready with me video with this makeup look using some Clinique products. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and that it's not too, too long. I have foundation on my earrings again. Anyways, yeah. So let's go ahead and get ready and have a little chat. Swing my head around. <laughs> I'm crazy. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our makeup. So obviously I have zero makeup on except for eyebrows. I did my eyebrows ahead of time because it just, it takes a while and I just prefer to do that off camera. So I did want to show you guys a couple of things that I got. So I did get a gift with purchase when I got my foundation from Clinique and my uh, moisturizer. So I picked up and I've really been liking the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, it is, it was like 60 bucks, but this is a huge tin. Like this will literally, or jar I should say, this will literally last me like forever. Um, and it does make my skin like baby soft. So um, it's a really good moisturizer if you are looking for one. I know for me, um, my skin used to be oily and then ever since having my daughter, it's like dry and I have like actual dry patches and it's just, it's not cute. So yeah. So it came with this little bag here, which I thought was really cute. And it came with a take the day off Clinique makeup remover. And it came with a high impact little sample mascara. I'm just gonna close the blinds because this ain't working better. It's still kinda in my face, but I can't really do anything about that, so. Um, and then it came with this Clinique Chubby um, in the nude foundation stick which is okay, it's not that great. Um, a Moisture Surge Cleanser, and it came with this lipstick called Plum Plum Pop, which is pretty, and I'll actually probably use that today, just so you guys can see the color. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put all this stuff back because I'm not going to be using it, but I am going to go ahead and use the foundation. Now, I am very pale because I do not get sun on my face. My body, I promise, is more tan. You can't tell because of the bright lights, but um, hopefully this matches the rest of me. So this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and mine's in this shade, Golden Neutral. So um, hopefully it, um, I mean, it's looking really dark, <laughs> of course. It's so hard to pick your color online because it looks so different online. And I'm sure it looks super like orangey on camera, but you know what? The rest of me is tan, so we're just gonna try it. So I'm just using the buffing brush from Real Techniques. <laughs> Why? Why I did that to my neck? Just like a random spot, I don't know. 
but I'm just going to buff this in. It's a little bit more difficult to buff than I thought, or to blend in than I thought. I thought that it would blend a bit easier, but I find that I'm having to um, work a little harder to blend it. Like it's not, um, it's not super easy to blend. Like you kind of have to work quickly with this. I'm just texting my mom. So I'm just going to use the Shape Tape Concealer and this will help kind of highlight my face. It looks super light on camera, but we're going to blend it out. Oh my god, I look crazy. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'd be so embarrassed if like, like the postman came to the door and I had to go out like this. Oh my god. That would be really embarrassing. Colin and I have been looking at houses and vacant land because um, like we love our house, but it's not in the country and we definitely want to be in the country. We both grew up in the country and we like that um, like privacy and stuff like that. Sorry, I gotta text my mom again. So yeah, we've been looking at houses um, because we both want something in the country and eventually, um, Um, and eventually my parents are going to um, build with us and then we're gonna have like an in-law suite for them um, and they're gonna we're gonna live together so that'll be really fun so yeah um, I found one that I really like that's like both of our style um, but I don't know if we're ready just yet cause we still have a couple things to do with our house but I'm like it's less than what we could get for our house so, yeah. So that's that lipstick. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to put um, the Buxom Gloss and Nicole over top. Just because I like shine. So I'm going to set that with my Graftobian powder. So yeah, um, we've just been kind of like casually keeping an eye out for property. Um, but of course I found one that I really like. It's like a beautiful, it's on like two acres and, um, it's a beautiful like chateau style. So it's got the really big windows, um, in the living area and the property is beautiful. It backs onto like a ski resort. So it's very hilly and like, it's just, oh crap, I've got lipstick on my brush. It's just really pretty. Um, so I'm kind of like, oh. <laughs> like let's go look at it but I don't know we'll see you know when you like look at a house and you're like oh my god that's like we need that house that's just kind of how I am even though we're casually looking it might be what it's also one of those things that if we actually saw something that we really wanted um, and that was right for us then we would buy so I'm just gonna use the natural eyes palette because it's one of my favorites and this is just a Morphe M433 brush. So, just putting that on. Then I'm going to go into Silk Teddy. Sometimes I just use the same brush because I'm too lazy to switch and um, I have to redo that eyebrow. Like, they're too thin right now. Ugh. Um, yeah, so actually, you know what, I'm just going to do that with this shadow in here. Sometimes, like, I was using the ColourPop, um, it's like the eyebrow, like, gel, but I also like to sometimes go over with powder just to, like, not only to set it, but just to kind of, um, fill them out more because sometimes if you put powder it can just kind of make them look a bit like bigger or whatever like that's better I feel like and I just use the nude shade from that so anywho so I'm gonna go into push up and that's gonna be my crease color 
Lately, Blakey's only been napping. Yes, I call her Blakey. Her name's Blake, but Blakey. Um, she's only been napping like an hour and a half in the morning now. Of course, my dad's calling me. This is just not a good video. It's always the way when you go to film a video and you have to be kind of quick, everybody calls you. <laughs> but I love my dad, so it's okay. So I think I'm just gonna use Honey Pot. Just, it's just a gold. I just put that all over the lid. Honestly, like the Too Faced shadows are not as good as like Urban Decay or even um, ColourPop I find. Like I like the ColourPop, um, their new eyeshadow palettes are amazing. I did order two new ones. They're just better than even Too Faced. Like that's just my opinion. I mean, this is a pretty good palette, but the pigmentation could be a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. So then I used the chocolate martini, and I just used that in the outer corner. But yeah, so I found a house that I'm in love with, and if Colin said, yep, yeah, we could get it, then not that it's only up to him, but you know, he, uh, he's gotta like it too. So if he agreed and thought like we could jump in with two feet, then I would do it because, oh my God, it's so nice. And like, the reason, you would think that it would be like worth like over a million dollars, but the thing is, where I live, people would rather be like in town. So the homes in town, like ours, are actually priced a lot more than the country ones, which are the ones that we want. So we could actually move to where we want, um, and buy something that's worth less than our home. So we would have the money to do renovations and all that stuff. So that's why we're kind of like, you know, we should probably move. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline gel liner, although the Inglot one's way better, so I need to get that. Because I have it for my makeup kit, but yeah. So I don't know, I'm hoping that he like won't care and he'll kind of be like, yeah, let's do it. I mean, the dining room still needs to be done. We still need to do like landscaping outside. But I mean, the way our house is right now, we could sell it for, I don't know, a good amount of money that's actually less than this one in the country. So, um, and then we probably have like 50 to $100,000 to do renovations. Not that it really needs a lot of renovations, um, it just kind of needs, um, like we would redo the kitchen to match like our kitchen. Like we do granite countertops and, um, you know, like a high end kitchen and stuff like that. But like, and the outside of that house needs to be kind of fixed up. But otherwise it's like really nice and it has a beautiful finished basement. It's four bedrooms. <sighs> so I'm just like, you know, we really need to move. So. Well, not that we need to, it's just, I just need more space. Like this bedroom is like our throw all for storage because we don't have hardly any storage. And, um, you know, if baby number two comes along, this is gonna be his or her room and we have nowhere to put this other stuff. Mind you, we don't have a closet in our, um, we don't have a closet in our bedroom uh, because we still have to buy built-ins and put that in. So we would have to do that before we list. But still, it's like, you know what? We just need, whatever, we could get it done. Anyways, so I'm gonna put some of this highlighter from Hard Candy that I always use. Just looks like this. It's like a baked highlighter. I just put that in the inner corner of the eye just to give it a little, I have a lipstick all over my teeth. Thanks for telling me guys. Obviously I'm kidding. Um, so I'm gonna just use a Rimmel bronzer cause whatever. Oh my God, I didn't do the mascara. I'm gonna use the Clinique mascara just to see, so. Yeah, so that's kind of, he's gonna probably say, well, we're not really ready yet. We have to finish this house, but I'm the type that's like, if you see something that's good and you like it, you need to jump on it because where he's more like, let's take our time and like kind of wait where I'm like, no, we see something we like, jump on it. And you know, like we could just do like a later closing, spend the money, get the built-ins for our house, put it up for sale, 
And like we're in a pretty desirable area, so I really don't think it would take long to sell. Um, so, anyways. This is a really good mascara. I do like it. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just dreaming looking at these houses. I love my house, and honestly, like, if it was just bigger and in the country, then know because I love like what we've done to it it's like a hundred percent like that rustic-y kind of style and it is really nice but it's just not big enough for I mean I don't know and like I want a laundry room and a finished basement to like put workout stuff in and like you know, have Blake's toys and, I don't know. And like, I'm just so in love with that living room because it literally has windows, floor to ceiling windows. You, you know, you overlook just land, like you're in the country and it's just beautiful. So I'm like, oh, Colin, can we move? And my parents um, want to move with us sooner than later because the lot next to them sold and they think that the people are gonna use it as like a horse business or something like a horse riding business so they were like you know we don't really want we might lose a lot of privacy so their I mean their house is beautiful you guys have seen it but it's too much to maintain for them for the next couple years so anyways I don't know we just like all want to move together and live together and like help each other out and like obviously they'd have their own separate, um, completely separate living space. Like we wouldn't actually live together. It'd be like the same house, but it would be, they'd have a separate detached or attached, I guess, um, section like of house or whatever. So um, we'd all have our complete privacy. Um, yeah. There's like a, I don't know what happened there. Like a weird line, but anyways. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. So live together, help each other out. That's kind of the plan. So I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Cheekers blush. And I don't. Oh no, it's in plumberry glow this is one of my favorites I use it all the time it's so pretty so if you're looking for a drugstore blush that's like a really good quality and it's it smells like cinnamon it's really nice it's just a really pretty pink like I don't know I just really like it yeah I'm not a huge fan of the pigmentation of this eyeshadow so I'm really excited to get the color pop ones in the mail because I know that they're gonna just be better quality so I'm gonna go back into that highlighter and highlight the crap out of my face. This is gonna be a really long vlogmas now because whatever, that's okay. I'd rather do like one that's too long and let me know if you guys would prefer one that's a little too long than one that's only like five minutes. Like I feel like when people put up five minute videos, I'm like, there's no point in me watching this. Like I want something longer. So that's it. I might just do a bit more mascara, but I don't know. What time is it? She's been sleeping for uh, an hour and 10 minutes, so that's good. So now she can wake up because she, they do say that um, if a baby sleeps an hour for their nap, then that's good and that's restorative sleep where if she slept any less than an hour, that's not like restorative sleep and she needs to go down longer for a longer nap. Oh crap, I boobed a little bit. Well, I'll wait till it dries and then I'll fix that. But So that is my finished makeup for the day. I do really like the foundation. I have like goop and, oh Shiza. Oh, by the way, um, with the whole Hawaii thing, I decided not to go. We decided not to go. Well, really, it was my decision, but um, because I cannot leave my baby girl 
even at eight months old, I can't leave her for a week. I just don't want to feel right about it. I feel like I wouldn't even like enjoy myself. Like she's the love of my life. I don't want to leave her yet. And I know that like, I understand how some moms would say like, well, it's good to get a break from your baby because then you get more sleep and you have that time with your husband and all that stuff. But if I want time with Colin, I'll just go out to dinner with him. Like I don't need to go like, a long way away for an entire week to get a break and I don't want a break from her. I don't want a break from being a mom. Like I don't feel like I need it and I don't want it because it's, for me, it's the best job in the world. Not that people who go away don't think it's the best job in the world. It's just that I just don't feel like it's necessary for us to go to Hawaii for me to get a break. Like I don't want a break and B, if I need time with Colin, we'll just go out to dinner or something. Do you know what I mean? Or go away for the weekend. I, I can't do a whole week. Like I just can't. So that was the decision that we made. Also, the toner in my hair has faded so it doesn't look gray anymore. Um, and the brown is um, fading. Also another thing, I did order the um, Nioxin, I think it's called Nioxin um, shampoo and conditioner that's supposed to um, promote hair growth um, because I'm dealing with the postpartum hair loss even though my hairdresser's like or my hairstylist was like you're not going bald it's just that the hairs that you didn't lose for 10 months are starting to come out and you can see it like here and like here, it's kind of a lot thinner. So I just wanted to order that shampoo. I've heard really good things about it and um, it's supposed to promote um, a healthy scalp and hair growth and all that stuff, so thank God. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next Vlogmas video.